Hey guys, this is Steve from Travel Mischief. All right, this week we are up in the famous wine country of New Zealand. We are at Marlborough. And uh, what we're gonna do is something a little bit different this week for you. We're going to uh, give you a little bit of an insider view of where to go and what to do. So we're gonna do a bit of a series this week of different wineries, but what we're gonna start off with today is accommodation. So here we are today letting the truck go past. Here we are today and we're at Marlborough Vinters Hotel as you can see. Now this is part of the Heritage Collection as it says which is a chain of hotels that run throughout New Zealand but look what do you want to do when you come to the wineries? When you come to the wineries you want to be amongst the wine vines and that's exactly where Marlborough's Vinters Hotel is. There's a little town just off Marlborough called Blenheim and you can actually stay in Blenheim if you want and look you'll be in amongst the shops and the buildings and all that sort of stuff but for me when I come to our wine country I want to stay where the wine is made and uh, Marlborough's Vinter Hotel, Vinter's Hotel is one of the best places. There's basically two places in the vines that you can stay this being one of them, and the other one is Marlborough Vinters Retreat. So they're very similar. Now the retreat is better if you're probably in a family because you can get little houses there that'll have two and three bedrooms and you can basically house a whole family. But look, if you're here on a romantic weekend and there's just the two of you, you can't beat Marlborough Vinters Hotel. Uh, across the road over here, if I can zoom into here, is the village fantastic breakfast you can go over there in the morning get a really nice breakfast they've got the whole lot they've got the bacon the eggs the pancakes everything so not far of a walk and uh, we're going to take you through the grounds here so let's uh, start off so as you uh, you as I said right in the middle of the vineyards we're actually on the Brancott estate vineyards here um, that's their vines and we're right in the middle of them we're gonna walk down so let us take us around here uh, we we'll come through the entrance here and it is a, uh, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here, it is a, a beautiful, a beautiful grounds. A lot of uh, New Zealand native plants. We've got your flaxes and your uh, cabbage plants. So it's really pretty. Plenty of parking. And as we come in, it's kind of like a winery here. I think it used to actually be an old winery, but it's been converted now into accommodation. So we've got these beautiful olive trees growing here at the entrance. And uh, actually, at the point at this point in time, they're quite packed with olives, so always a, a little bit of a, a nice thing to go with your wine. You can see, I'll just take you up and give you a quick look. You can see the uh, olives on the tree; they're just about ripe, actually. We've got some uh, nice wine barrels over here, and as we come down to the entrance, uh, we've got the units or the huts, which are kind of behind here. Now they've got a few different types of accommodation they've got a standard what they call garden view room uh, or, or hut they've got a uh, another one that we tend to always get which is the uh, vineyard view so you're basically looking straight onto the grapevines and they've got one unit here which is quite cool um, it doesn't have a view of the vineyards but it has an outside bathtub so you can actually sit outside uh, especially if you're away on a romantic weekend you can both share the bathtub it's gas heated it's warm it gets quite cold here obviously i'll just show you this first this is the reception um, entrance into uh, where you basically first come when you come here and now we'll head down towards the huts see as i was saying there's one that's got a bathtub gas heated beautiful you sit outside in your hot water and uh, just enjoy it's quite cold at the moment about 10 degrees and we're in April so it does get really cold here um, another thing they offer here is push bikes always good not to be driving when you're drinking uh, at all the uh, beautiful vineyards we've got around here now we've probably got about 20 different vineyards within this area some quite famous ones like Matua Cloudy Bay which is owned uh, if people don't know by uh, Verve Moe um, so there's some so, so, some really good vineyards around here. Gising has great food, and we're going to do a uh, a little video tomorrow about them. And uh, you can just see here the grounds are just beautiful; they're well maintained. And as we're heading down here at the moment, you can see we're heading down and how close we are to the actual vineyards. So yeah, as I was saying, about 20 different uh, different 
wineries um, just in this. Okay guys, this is what I want to show you. This was the reception of Marlborough Vintage Hotel. So when you do turn up here, this is where you go to check in. Now, while we're here, I thought it might be prudent just to show you we are amongst the mountains here. Marlborough is obviously at the top of the South Island and uh, we do have the famous New Zealand Southern Range uh, running up the uh, west coast of New Zealand. So we are at the top of the South Island of New Zealand. That's where Marlborough is. Now, heading into Marlborough Vinters Hotel, I will just show you a few of these little things. So, we have a uh, few push bikes over here that uh, they're happy to let you use if you're staying here. Uh, great to get around to the uh, vineyards, uh, the wineries. We've got about 20 wineries uh, just within this small area here that you can quite easily ride to on one of those push bikes. They even have little baskets on the front to carry your bottles of wine. So uh, it's a great way to get around. We uh, don't like to see people drink driving here in New Zealand. So uh, look, get on the push bike, get around. It's a great day out. Not only do we have some great vineyards, some of the best in the world. We've got Cloudy Bay, we've got Matua, we've got Jising, we've got uh, Whitestone, we've got uh, Nautilus, we've got some of the best, uh, Kim Crawford, some of the best wineries in the world, um, just voted uh, some of the best SAVs in the world. Uh, they're all within riding range here, but we also have some great cheeseries, we've got some great uh, places that you can go and have uh, some platters and honey, all those sort of things. And also just in here, if you do stay here, we have our spa and our swimming pool. So um, yeah, look, great to have a spa when it's cold. It's about 10 degrees at the moment in uh, 10 degrees Celsius in uh, April. So it does get quite cold here at night. So a bit of a hot spa is always nice at that time. So as we're walking down, what we're doing is we're coming through the different units. So we have what they call a garden view unit over here. Obviously looking at the gardens, the trees, the beautiful flaxes, the cabbage plants, and uh, coming down as we get down to the end, we have what I would consider the premium of the rooms. Uh, if you're going to book and that would be the vineyard view rooms so they are right on the vines right on the vineyard the Brancott estate vineyards to be exact and they look 50 feet or in metric about 15 meters from the vines that's where the room is so you're looking straight out onto the vines it's such a great wine experience here in one of the greatest wine areas in the world, to be honest. And this is a, uh, a massive, massive vineyard. You can see it just stretches for kilometers through here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come through here. Now these here are the vineyard view rooms and I'm gonna take you through that on the next video. So I'm just gonna stop the video here and I'm gonna start a new one uh, which will join up so you can see what the rooms look like. But you can see just out the front here, we've got plenty of parking, easy access to the rooms. Uh, you don't have to walk very far with your bag. So it's just an ideal position if you are coming to Marlborough in New Zealand. All right, and we're gonna do the third part now. All right, guys, as promised, we're going to do a little bit of a review on the rooms here at the Vinters Hotel in Marlborough. So just coming through from the car park, we've got beautiful little gardens and the view out, you can see right on the vines, really close as promised. We've got the mountain range over there on the east coast, absolutely stunning. We're in a big valley here and uh, look, these are the rooms. So look, clean, nice really good rooms, everything you'd want. You've got a little dining table. You've got your uh, microwave, coffee machines, um, fridges. We've got a beautiful sav just sitting over here. This is Rapura Springs. This sav actually just won best sav for 2019 in the world. And uh, let me tell you, I'm having a bit of a drink of it tonight and it is a very nice sav, very fruity. So uh, if you do see this, give this one a go. It is highly recommended by us guys here at Travel Mischief. Now, here we go, a bit of a lounge, nice 
TV, stereo, really roomy rooms, you know, like plenty of room. You've got a big king size bed here, um, only a single bedroom, good size wardrobe, light coming in, nice garden view out the back, and uh, look at this bathroom. Massive bathroom, um, big toilet, but what we really like to see is the big shower, massive shower, hot water on a cold night, with a glass of wine, you can't beat it. So look guys, that is our little insider secret from us guys here at Travel Mischief. If you are coming to New Zealand and you do want to do the wine country, look, you can't get better wine country obviously in Marlborough, uh, on the top end of the South Island. It's in amongst the mountains, snow capped in winter, vines everywhere, hundreds of square kilometers of vines and Vintas Hotel, highly recommended, especially for a romantic weekend. If there's two of you, you can't beat this place. And uh, my recommendation would be if you can get one, grab the uh, vineyard view, which is what we have here. But look, get in early because uh, you probably would have seen at the beginning of the video, it does rent out quickly. But that's a little insider secret for people coming to New Zealand and want to enjoy the wine country in Marlborough, Vintas Hotel. We're going to be doing a range of these to give you a little bit of an insider view of where to go in Marlborough uh, when you are here. We're going to do a couple of the wineries. We're going to do a bit more accommodation. And uh, so keep an eye out, of that, out for that because that's going to be coming out in the next couple of days. All right, guys, we're going to sign off and we'll see you soon.